All right, what's up gamers? Welcome back to Inferno Arts. I'm Inferno and today we will be looking at some videos, one video to be exact, of some restorations, okay? Now, what we have here first is a video with 1.6 million views, posted November 3rd, 2021. All right, so it's fully restoration, old, rusty, Kawasaki car. Perfectly restored car, Kawasaki, okay? So, obviously, this is about a car, as stated twice in this, in this title here, okay? Two times, it's obviously a car. All right, now let's get right into looking at this thing. First, I gotta put up, put on my my hearing aids, okay, to aid me in hearing this this video. All right, let's take a look at. Now that does not look like a car to me. I mean, I don't know. I might I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is a motorcycle. Um, and it is quite obvious that there is mud and crap just smeared all over this thing. Alright, so the guy's getting right into it. Look at that thing. It is pretty junked up. It has the key with it. Why not? Hey, you better be careful with that spray. You might just spray off the uh, mud you just smeared all over it. And it might look like a brand new Kawasaki car again, okay? Oh, man. Okay, so uh, first good thing here. They really got, uh, got the smearing in, uh, in, in deep, okay? They got it into the spaces so far that... Um, you know, they wouldn't normally, so good job there. Ooh, except underneath the grips. Come on, this thing was obviously found in a lake, so um, all, all these spaces should be covered in mud as well. Isn't that supposed to be like brake fluid up there, if I remember correctly? It's like brake fluid or, or some kind of fluid that, that should look worse than what it looks like. Okay, all right, let's check this out real quick, and it's just as I suspected. Come on, look at, look at, right there, look at that, look at that screw. You can see the top of it is pretty rusty, it's pretty gross, uh, but as soon as he screws it out, it's not that bad. It's like maybe uh, <laughs> a brand new screw, I don't, I don't know, hey. I'm not, I'm not here to judge, okay, <laughs> okay. They really went into depth with this one because uh, as you can see, they even did something to peel off the paint. I'm, I'm assuming some kind of paint remover, uh, some kind of crap that you smear on it and you, they just kind of like rubbed on it. Um, I, I'd say that's pretty accurate. Um, they maybe even set it out, sorry, in the rain. Uh, for a day or two, but I highly doubt it because because um, why would they do that when they could probably just spray it with a hose, let it sit for a couple hours. Okay, so you can see these forks. All right, so if you're looking at these forks and you're looking at that that bar that's coming across here, that bar looks like it's it's very rusty, right? It's super rusted out. There's nothing. Nothing you could do to it. It's gone, long gone. But then you look at the forks, and those things look pretty clean. I mean, I'm not, you know, a mechanic or anything, but I would assume those forks would look a little worse than they already are. But hey, like I said, I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. I don't, I don't work on these cars. Now, hey, now hold on, hold on one second. Okay, he flips it over, and it doesn't show up for very long, but if you look on those big...
bits on the side there. They look pretty clean to me. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just because they were covered and, you know, every, on there pretty tight. Uh, so it couldn't actually get in there, the dirt and the, the mud and obviously the lake water that um, got all over the rest of the bike. But, you know, hey, I don't know nothing. Now, I like to talk about the tires in these types of types of videos. Um, I say that like I've done many of these videos. I have not. But look at those tires. Those are not bad looking tires. Um, just, you know, hey, that's, an, that's a win, okay? That's an epic victory royale. If you, if you find, I, I bet you found this thing on the side of the road, too. I mean, in a lake. Y you found this inside of a lake, and it's got good old tires on it. You could probably sell those tires for a pretty penny there, not going to lie. I don't know why he's restoring this bike. He could just sell those tires and be all set and buy a brand new one that he can toss in a lake or smear mud on or any, any, any of that. Put some paint on it. You know, I swear, if this thing is painted some god-awful color, like pink or something, whoo, going to feel my wrath, all right? That seemed to roll pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Looking at how rusty everything was. I would assume that that tire would be pretty seized up. The wheel wouldn't move very well. But no, that looked like that, that's pretty good. That looked pretty good. I'm, I'm not going to lie. This guy's real lucky, I tell you what. And like I said, that, that wheel right there, that wheel looks, it definitely looks like it was... It had good paint on it. It had good paint in that 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 uh, goop that you s spread all over paint, the paint remover goop. It looks like that was on there at some point and just kind of like brushed on in some places. And then as soon as it settled in there and got the paint off, you just kind of wiped it off. Because that's just the kind of look it, it, that, that it screams. I mean, I don't know. It was probably just in a lake. I mean, that's what lakes do. All swampy, muddy, gross lakes. That's probably what it should look like. <laughs> now, that rotor does look pretty rusty, though. I mean, before, it wasn't. I'm pretty sure the last video I checked out, it didn't have very much rust on the, on the rotor, at least in a lot of areas. Some, I think, were pretty rusty, but... Hey, they're up in their game. They're getting better, making it more uh, believable. I mean, this is very believable because it's real, and it's obvious that it is real. Huh. I'm not going to lie. That is a pretty good-looking spring right there. Um, I would assume with how bad everything else looks, I would assume like that... That red on it wouldn't be as vibrant, and it wouldn't really be there at all. Um, pretty sure that's like some kind of plastic that's kind of wrapped around it. Um, I'm not entirely sure about that, but I'm pretty sure it's some kind of like coating or some kind of plastic or something that would um, not be there for very long if if the rest of the the vehicle car. <laughs> motorcycle looks like this uh, but you know hey I don't know I don't I don't know anything I'm just I'm just some guy watching an epic restoration video okay all right I see how this looks after he pulls it up oh not bad as in it is bad Uh, he's putting the stuff on, I think. I think he's putting on the goop to make the uh, the paint come off. The paint remover goop. So, obviously, he does have the stuff, and that is a viable thing that I was saying, okay? Oh, 
Oh, what happened? Oh, oh, okay. It's all gross. Gross? It's all gross and obviously not even close to being done yet. And then all of a sudden, what's happening? It looks like that. What happened to making it look like that? Is this the same can? I don't know. Hey, these fake restoration channels, I mean videos, uh, usually have some kind of uh, replacement. And then they, they just kind of replace it with something brand new um, and cut it. But, you know, that might not be the case. This might be the one they just didn't want to add at all. Because it's already a 52 minute long video. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so he's painting it black, and I hope it stays black. All right, because the last one, they painted it pink. Pink. I can't, I can't even, why would you paint it pink? Uh, but if they keep this black, that's, you know, props to them, good job. Um, rest of the video, don't even matter. If you paint this thing black or some normal color, be all set. Okay, painting it, painting it. Oh, they're getting to this part. Hold on, hold on. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Okay. That, that just looks so bad. It looks so bad. It looks like it's all, it all looks the same. I swear to God, it all looks the exact same. All these videos, it looks like it's all brushed on with a paintbrush. I mean, like, it looks terrible. And then if you look inside there, that looks perfectly fine. I assume at least some of that would be exposed to the outside, and it's not all covered up. You can see it's leaked in there pretty well. Um, so I would imagine all that good-looking yellow right there uh, wouldn't look like that if the rest looks like that. There it is again on the other side. Oh, see, that's what it looks like. That's like they used a brush. They just kind of brush it on and let it sit like that. I bet that's what they did. They had a bucket of muddy water smeared on there and brushed it on with that same brush. That's what I'm betting right here, right now. And they just let it sit like that because that's exactly what it looks like. That's exactly what it looks like. It's just coming off so easily. He just like kind of put put a little water on it and one wipe with the brush, just gone. Not even there. All gone. It's out of there. No more paint. No more mud. Nothing. It's all good. Oh, here they are. Painting it black. Hopefully it stays black. I swear, if it stays black, I'll be happy. I will. I will not care about the rest of this video as long as it stays black and not pink. Okay, it's looking pretty slick with that on it. Hopefully, they don't cover it with bl. Hopefully, they don't cover it with pink. Pink. Please, no pink. Okay. I had a feeling that it was going to end up being red. I had a, a, a weird suspicion that it was going to end up being red. There is no indication of it being red in the thumbnail or anything. But I was thinking that it was going to end up being red. And in my head, I was thinking, red or black. Please, red or black. I saw the black, so I thought maybe it was going to be black. But I still was thinking it was probably going to be red. Keep it red. Keep it red and we'll be a-okay. See, I was right either way. Red and black. Alright. Cleaning up the frame a little bit. Alright. It's, it's, it's quite a bit rusty. Alright. So, just keep going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How'd it get like that already, huh? 
and just like that it is already sanded primed and uh being resanded wow what happened to all the stuff in the middle you know hey it's probably because the video was already getting too long i get it i get it i understand no need to worry okay painting it black all right good Alright, we got the exhaust pipe, I I imagine, for this car. I mean, look at the inside of this. It looks so new. It looks so good. And that paint peeling, it's better than, you know, what I've seen before where even that has been smeared with the muddy brush but you know I you know hey props to you guys good job good job good job hold on uh I missed it where is it where is it yeah I don't I don't think you needed those taps in there I think it would have gone in just fine just fine tapping it tap nope no need See that that is a clean looking bolt underneath. Clean looking bolt. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's a good looking bolt. Okay, they take the tire off and they add more of this crap on it. And look at the Okay, that would make more sense that there wouldn't be stuff where the tires would actually be. But still. Still. comes off nicely okay all right well if they keep it black be good to go if they keep all these colors normal colors I'll be happy all right black changing it back to orange which it looked a little bit like orangey red but you know whatever um, so they destroy it just to make it uh, back to the orange red color, but whatever whatever man Yeah, I'm not sure if I like the look of the orange Personal preference I don't know. maybe it'll look good at the end. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, they're really getting into it this one, huh? Cutting up the wires and everything fancy Ooh, that looks very clean under there Suspicious. Okay, so they are taking apart the entire engine right here. Um, and it's kind of interesting that these videos, they always use every single part that's already there. Not a single part is replaced or really like no major components are replaced or repaired. Usually it's like the the plastics that are uh, damaged and then they repair those but all the main parts to make the thing running go are all good to go so how did these people get these items or why would they be just laying on the side of the road or whatever if they worked perfectly fine and all they needed was a wash Seems kind of suspicious to me. But I digress. Okay. Alright. Still taking it all apart. Which is fine. Okay. Deep cleaning. Good. Clean it up nicely. Alright. Painting all the pieces black it looks like. Alright. Um, and silver. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Black and silver, right? Is that silver? Or is that bronze? Kind of looks like a weird bronzy pink. Better not be any more pink than that. All right. All the gears. Okay, let it work. All right. Yeah, that is a weird... I thought it was going to be a little bit more metallic than this. Uh, this is just straight up salmon. Okay? This is salmon. 
the salmon pink color but hey you know maybe it'll look good at the end i don't know we'll see hopefully last time we weren't able to see Ooh, that looks good that um, I'm sure is all the same parts, of course. All, everything's the exact same. It's all good to go. Um, they just kind of threw it on, in some water, some nice clean water. Maybe took a brush to it real quick, and it's all clean and good to go. And I bet that chain is the same, too. Same tires, no holes in them, full of air, uh, good tread, all good to go. Uh, like I said, unless I skipped over it, most of these things, most of these types of videos are don't replace any of the parts which you know might be might be a good thing but uh, it seems kind of suspicious because you're probably only gonna find a bike like that just laying on the side of the road if it's completely destroyed and all the parts actually need to be replaced or repaired but all these parts and pieces they're all good it's they're all perfectly fine they're just a little dirty this uh, thousand, couple thousand dollar motorcycle uh, is perfectly fine, just a little dirty, and they just kind of leave it off on the side of the road. I don't know, you know. Hey, you do you, man. You do you. It's coming along. It looks like underwear. Is that underwear? Are you using underwear in a wooden stick? Okay, it's all coming together nicely. It's all good. All right. Oh, looks like they did get a new speedometer or tachometer or whatever it's called. Odometer, that thing. All right, it is coming together nicely. I tell you what, all these fresh new pieces. Now, where did that seat come from? That wasn't on it. Neither was that. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull here? Oh. Here, we, here. I think that, yeah, it's the end. Here it is. Look at him go. Look at him go. Runs perfectly fine isn't that wonderful barely even needed anything it was just a little elbow grease and dedication and there you go there you have it it's, it's, runs perfectly all right so you know hey you guys i don't know anything why don't why don't you guys tell me in the comments let me know if you actually think this is real or fake or, or well, you know, just, just anything. What do, you, what do you think? Um, either way, um, I know I'm, I'm, I'm poking fun at these kind of videos, but uh, either way, they are still very entertaining to watch. Um, it's fun to see someone take things apart, put it all back together, make it look nice again, even if they are the ones who destroy it in the first place. All right, now thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you very much. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the bell, all that stuff. You know how it is. All right, and I will see you in the next video.